Hi everybody, it's Dandro for the news cartridge for Wednesday, April 19th, 2017. Welcome to Wednesday, everyone, and unfortunately, today begins with a delay. Demon, the last recital, was set to release today, but was pushed back at the very last second to sometime in May. Shovel Knight, Spectre of Torment, has its release dates announced. The Wii U version is coming on Friday, April 21st, and the 3DS version is coming on Tuesday, April 25th. This next one is sort of related to video games. The Facebook VR app is now available for free on the Oculus Rift store. It allows you to do exactly what you would think it puts you into a 3D space with other people using the app, so you can have a conversation and talk to them in virtual reality. It's just as creepy as it is cool to me, and let me know if you would use an app like this in the comment section down below. For Honor has been updated to version 1.05 for Xbox One and PS4, the same version that hit PC a few weeks ago. Fifteen more games have been added to PlayStation Now, some of the notable ones being Sonic Adventure 2, How to Train Your Dragon 2, Adventure Time, Finn and Jake Investigations, and Kung Fu Panda Showdown of Legendary Legends. And open beta is going to be held on PS4 for the upcoming Marvel Heroes Omega, beginning this Friday. An open beta is planned for Xbox One, but no release dates have been announced yet. The pre-order bonuses for the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy have been announced, and not only are they terrible, you shouldn't be pre-ordering video games anyway. But with that said, let's cover what little there is. You'll receive a dynamic theme for your PlayStation desktop, and two avatars for your profile. Whoop! fucking do Don't pre-order it, or any other game for that matter. Moving on from release announcements, Bandai Namco has filed a trademark for Pac-Man Maker, so... Guess what game they're making? Obviously, this is to try to ride the coattails and success of Super Mario Maker, and I wholeheartedly say to Bandai Namco, bring it on! Sounds like a great idea. Nintendo has announced, to no one's surprise, that Splatoon 2 will have full amiibo support. In other Nintendo news, Overcooked Special Edition is coming to the Switch at some point later this year. And finally for Nintendo, there are rumors that an SNES Mini is currently in development. This gives Nintendo the opportunity, again, to release a controller with a two and a half foot cord, and and they could release even less than they did before to piss more people off. Seriously, Nintendo, please make more than 50 of the fucking things. This next one's a little out there. The creators of Dwarf Fortress have said that when they all die, all the rights to the game will go to the Museum of Modern Art located in New York City. The reason for this is because Dwarf Fortress is considered the most complex and complicated game ever made. There's been 15 years of development put into it, and the game is still only less than half done, at at least according to the developers. Now before we get into the main story of the day, I've been wanting to talk about this one more than any other topic today. PC Gamer has detailed a way of flashing your AMD RX 480 BIOS to make your computer recognize it as an AMD RX 580, and right away, I'm going to say that I completely advise against this. Giving your graphics card a BIOS that it wasn't meant to use can have unexpected results and can lead to hardware failure, and in extreme cases, a fire can result. The likelihood of a fire, of course, is a very small possibility, but it's always a factor when you make electronic devices do things that they weren't designed to do. That being said, flashing your 480 to a 580 is not going to net you any better performance, because performance is usually tied to hardware, and you're not increasing the hardware's capabilities. You're just changing some of the code that is built into the card. Once again, I do not recommend this. I advise against it. Do not fix what is not broken. And of course, that brings us to our main topic of the day, being one of the games that made me a PC gamer. StarCraft, along with its expansion Brood War, has been released by Blizzard free of charge for everyone to enjoy. I've heard the series described as a futuristic space opera, and I completely agree. This game has brought me so much entertainment and joy from both its single-player and multiplayer modes. The story focuses around three different races. The humans, which I would hope you're all familiar with, the pro Toss, which is a futuristic civil race that communicates via telepathy, and the Zerg, a primal carnal race that consumes everything it touches in order to further the hive mind. I started playing the first StarCraft regularly back in 2003, and played it up until the very day StarCraft 2 came out in 2010, and while I haven't gone back to them, they are still one of my favorite series of all time. I cannot recommend enough that you go get a Blizzard account, which is absolutely free, and then go download StarCraft and play it, it's absolutely free. This will run on on any modern day computer, by the way, the game was released back in 1998. Let me know if you're a StarCraft fan, or if I convinced you to give StarCraft a try in the comment section down below. Here's some other games to try, it's tomorrow's game releases. For PC, Tanky X, Pixel Sand, Rick and Morty, Virtual Rickality, Alien Swarm, Reactive Drop, Echidemagia, The Making of Mages, Halo Wars, Definitive Edition, Scar of the Doll, Brawlout, Grimoire Chronicles, Perso, Deck Splash, 
Box Explosion, and Storm Riders. For PlayStation 4, ACA Neo Geo Art of Fighting. For Nintendo Wii U, Orbit. And for Nintendo 3DS, Don't Crash Go. Thank you very much, everybody. This has been News Cartridge. I am Dandruff. I will see you tomorrow. And I remember the first time I ever saw a universal remote control. I said, this changes everything. So I'm pretty happy with the show today. Uh, that, there's a lot of little things I felt. There wasn't too many big things. Um, main things, of course, that we covered today. The NES, Super NES Mini. That's going to be... That's going to be fun trying to find one of those. Because, you know, Nintendo's going to make 80 of them instead of 50. So they're going to be like, what? Well, we made more. <sighs> um, those things are going for like $300 right now on Craigslist, on eBay, because scalpers found out that they're not making any more, so supply went way down, didn't it? Price has to go up. Oh, yay. Thank you, Nintendo. You did that. Thank you so much. Um, really, go out and make yourself a Nintendo Pie. Put every single ROM on it. I don't give a fuck. Don't pirate things, but... Go make a Nintendo Pie. <laughs> I can tell. I can say that. Don't pirate anything. Go make yourself. Go get yourself an emulator, though. Don't put games in that emulator. Just go get the emulator. <laughs> um. Let's see what else. Uh. Oh, Starcraft. I love Starcraft. Starcraft. I would. I would move this, but it would destroy my wall. Actually, I can't move. They're all taped together. Starcraft down here. One of my favorite games of all time. It's a real-time strategy game. I actually never mentioned that in the show. Actually, it's real-time. It's RTS. Uh, you give it a, uh, not really an isometric view, but you have to. You know, you have to build a base, build an army, send that army out to go attack your enemies. It's fucking fun. It's one of the hardest games to play. Still, it's so hard competitively. Like you go online to play and you don't know what you're doing. You're just gonna get your ass handed to you. And even when you do know what you're doing, I can play a little. Okay, I can play a little. Little. I'm good. I can get in the silver league. I've gotten a gold league a couple of times in 4v4. I cannot play 1v1. I get rolled over. Okay. I'm mm -mm, not good. No, uh -huh. I'm I'm okay. I can I can play it. Okay. As opposed to people who think they can play it and they can't play it. So I was like, sorry. If you don't have a good build pattern, a good build structure, and you're just building all over the place, and like, oh, it's okay. I only, I'll just put supply depots wherever. I'll just I'll just build. I'll, I only need two gateways. Like you only need two gateways, right? No, pfft, no. Get out of here. You don't know how to play. <laughs> like, oh, uh, I I really have played StarCraft for a long time. It's actually got what kind of got me in trouble in college. I was staying up till three o'clock in the morning playing StarCraft, and I had I had class at six in the morning. Guess who didn't go to Spanish? Yeah. So, don't do that if you're in college, everyone. Don't uh, stay up playing StarCraft till the wee hours of the morning. That's never a good idea. Um, let's see, what else? What else, what else, what else? I think that's about it. Uh, yeah. Don't forget to go like and subscribe. Share this video everywhere you can. Go put it every every place. I don't care where you put it. Just don't just just don't steal it. That's all I ask. Nobody's stolen my stuff so far. I actually really appreciate that. I've noticed. I've had. I've I've actually got friends who's like. I've got a friend who's got I think two thousand subs and he's already had like all of his videos ripped and stolen. It's weird. It's so weird. Um. I don't. I. I mean, it's weird that that sort of thing happens. It's not weird that it hasn't happened to me. I'm thankful it hasn't happened to me. Now it's gonna happen to me. Great. I'm gonna open my big dumb mouth. <laughs> um. Uh, social media links are over here. I have gotten a suggestion to shorten the Facebook one, and I think that's going to happen. I just got to make a whole new layover for this thing. Because, you know, you change one thing, you got to redo the whole damn thing. So, I will try to shorten that link. There are, it's, it's a pretty muddy link. I don't really like it. I don't like all the numbers there. It'd be better if you just had a Google link, you know, just to go to that. Because I get the shortened links in the bottom. And as long as I don't say over, click over here to subscribe, which I just did, so now I got to end the damn thing, to my rushing everything channel and then click over here for yesterday's video where we talked about the new twitch tz twitch the, 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 the twitch tv subscriptions that will cost 10 and 25 dollars each because they're fucking insane because people think that they'll buy that fucking much emotes i cannot believe bye